welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please do wait to subscribe to my channel like this video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and share this video as well people need to watch this now i just tell people are very lucky you know why am i saying that they are lucky they are lucky to have this man ls ot as their governor since ls ot came on board last year as the governor since he was sworn in uh, in may 29 29th may 2023 LSOT has been doing different things in Abia State. He has been developing roads, he has been developing hospitals, he has been developing different things. Now, this time around, he, has, he was in the United States where he met Abia State indigenous, Abia indigenous in the United States. And he then told them the new project he's embarking in Abia State. And he said that projects would be in, in Omaha and also to be in Aba. Now, many people are happy because personally, I'm very happy for. Abia State people. I wish I'm from Abia State, but I'm not from Abia State. Now, many people are happy and saying, ah, how I wish we are from Abia State, because this man right here he has shown that he's a man that has vision. You know, Abia State people have been yearning for a good leader, or a good leader, you know? They have been yearning for a good leader since 1999, and this time around, LSOT has become one of those leaders. Now, LSOT has told Abia State people that I want to develop a new city in Abia State. And he called that city Diaspora City. Now, he told, in the video you're seeing on the screen, he told Abia State indigenous in the United States of his vision. And he said he wanted them to key into that vision. Okay, I don't want to say much. Let's just watch this video and see what he said. Yeah. <laughs> we can assure you that we are building an enabling environment. <laughs> so that enabling environment will encourage your businesses, will support your initiatives and your dreams. It's not just to come and build a house, even though we are also we also have a, a a project to support those who want to build homes. We have uh, identified two locations where we call diaspora cities. say go to the comment section and tell me what you think of this video you watch what do you think of the man of this man LSOT what do you think of his vision to develop a city he said he had many projects in but in, another project in his head is to make sure that people in diaspora come home and build their build city on their own 
He has mapped out a place in normal here. He has also mapped out a place in Abba. I said this is the time he wants them to come back home and invest in Abia State. Now, everybody is calling on their people, saying people in, in, in diaspora should come home and develop. And let's say I promised Abia State indigenous in diaspora that his government is going to create or has created a neighboring environment for them to develop whatever they want to develop. He has told them that security in the United States is one of the topmost priority. And also he said that health is also there, education is there, and then this time around is housing. So people in diaspora, they should come back home and they should invest. You know, people in diaspora have been, many of them have been saying they have no, they don't, they can't go home because they feel that inv their investment in, their, in Nigeria will be a waste of resources. Therefore, they have been lagging behind. But now, Elias Seti has gone to them. He went to them and said, come back home and invest in other states. So what do you think of this Elias Seti's move? Please go to the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. See you in my next video. Bye.